they can operate underwater at high speeds for months at a time. And they don't make a sound. Nuclear-powered submarines are the most advanced and lethal of all naval warships. Inside their steel walls, these ships hold powerful weapons such as missiles that can reach targets thousands of miles away. But as Navy Commanding Officer David Volonino notes, the goal is not to use them. The uh, mission of uh, America's Ballistic Missile Submarine Force has always been deterrence of war. It is a very necessary thing for us to maintain a strong nuclear deterrent force so that any country that possesses nuclear weapons or other weapons of mass destruction will never consider using them against America or her allies. These subs are powered by nuclear reactors that generate energy through fission. Inside the reactor core, the fission of uranium fuel produces an enormous amount of heat. This heat is carried through the system and used to boil water into steam. The steam is then used to power the submarine by generating electricity. It's an efficient system. It only takes four pounds of uranium to yield the same power as 10 million gallons of fuel used by the early diesel-powered subs. And it solved a big problem for the Navy. Before nuclear power, submarines were vulnerable to attack because they had to resurface and refuel more frequently. Building a nuclear sub was the dream of Navy Admiral Hyman Rickover. He was the first to realize that nuclear power could vastly improve these underwater machines. A qualified submariner and engineer with a strong faith in both the practicality and necessity of atomic propulsion. His convictions and determination soon made him a dedicated and efficient spokesman for a nuclear navy. Figuring out how to control a powerful atomic reaction on a submarine was quite a task. But in 1955, Rickover's dream was realized with the launch of the USS Nautilus, the world's first nuclear-powered sub. Underway on nuclear power. That was the terse message that sent the Nautilus and her crew into service. Today, more than 20 nuclear submarines continue to patrol the world's oceans, often undetected.